This news update is brought to you by. Grab somebody and tell them hello. This is the Barbados Today afternoon news update for Wednesday, August 5th. I am Mary Claire Williams. Finance Minister Chris Sinclair will meet with executives of the National Union of Public Workers this afternoon to hammer out lingering issues facing customs officers. The workers returned to the job last Friday after staging a crippling go slow over two months. NUPW President Akani McDowell tells Barbados today they are anxious to settle outstanding issues. We would have mentioned before that um, there were some outstanding things that needed to be clarified before we, we um, gave the go-ahead for the option forms to be issued to the officers. And, and this meeting is just to make sure that those, those outstanding things are, are, are given as much clarity as possible. More than 17,000 people in Barbados were unemployed at the end of March. That translates to an unemployment rate of 11.6% for the first quarter of the year, a slight increase from the 11.5% recorded in the last quarter of 2014. These are the latest figures released by the Barbados Statistical Service, derived from the Continuous Household Labor Force Survey from the period January to March 2015. It revealed that of the 17,000 unemployed persons, 8,900 were males and 8,200 were females. And while the labor force was listed at 40, 145,000, there were uh, almost 128,000 employed people. The report stated that 77,300 people were not actively looking for work. Members of the cricket fraternity have been reflecting on the life of Captain Peter Short, a former West Indies cricket board president. 89-year-old Short died yesterday at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital after battling a prolonged illness. Short was a former cricket commentator and a former president of the Barbados Cricket Association. Cricket legend Wes Hall praised Short's contribution to the game. He was also very cognizant of the, the, the needs of, of players. I remember um, he came to me one day and he asked me if I would write a letter to Hampshire cricket on behalf of Malcolm Marshall, who was a very young, promising and fast bowler. I did so with all alacrity. And he got the contract, and the thing that would probably make him feel very happy as it did make me feel happy was that Malcolm Marshall became the greatest basketball of all time. He had a hand in getting him his first contract. So I would say he's had a full life, he's a great man, not only in cricket, he worked, as you know, as a personnel um, manager in the s &T. And I personally, he was very good to me, and um, I, I, I mourn his loss. Almost two weeks after her house collapsed at the Station Hill St. Michael, Maxine Searles and her family are settling into their new accommodation. A grateful Searles tells Barbados today she's satisfied with her new and improved temporary two-bedroom house at Paddock Road St. Michael. It was facilitated by the Welfare Department. She says it was hard living at her former house and the move has made a big difference. Searles says she's simply thankful. There's regional and international news after this short break. Can't compare. You just got to love that taste. It's a world class thing.
neighbors like Barbados there's growing concern in Trinidad and Tobago about the abundance of unsightly sargassum seaweed affecting the country's beaches even as cleanup operations continue tourism officials admit it's a big challenge First of all, we have to ask how much more of the East Coast there is. There are a lot of logistics in this we have to deal with. Where, where can we put where can we put the seaweed when you gather a lot of seaweed? So the logistics have to be worked on also. We are working with the big house and so we can fire exactly where and what we can do with the seaweed. On the international front, rescuers are searching for hundreds of migrants in the Mediterranean after the boat they were on capsized off Libya. International reports suggest as many as 700 people were on board the vessel when it came into difficulty. A spokesman for the International Organization for Migration said about 100 migrants had been pulled from the water, even as Navy personnel suggest scores have died. Four boats and three helicopters are reported to be involved in the rescue effort. And that's the afternoon news. We'll be back this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb for more news. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals and screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also, tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV and Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I am Marie Claire Williams. Good afternoon. Thank you.